back. Welcome into our show. So excited to be here tonight. Back with you uh, right here on our Facebook page. Oh, I got to get my Facebook page up because I know people are going to be checking in, saying hi and whatnot. Uh, very excited tonight because uh, we've got a very special guest uh, here. Thanks for uh, tuning in. You got any questions, comments, motivational statements? Make sure you hit them all up uh, in the comment section. Make sure you hit share, like, and comment as much as you can so we can all uh, do this. You know how it works on Facebook. The more you share, the more you like, the more you comment, uh, the more people see uh, the show. Thank you very much for being here. Already got people checking out. Love that. Uh, we are going to do a couple of fun things tonight, but before we do that, let me introduce my uh, my crack staff here. These uh, these <laughs> girls work very hard. I shouldn't say crack staff. I should say yeah, the professional, <laughs> a professional staff here. So negative. Yeah. Let's uh, give it up <laughs> for. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's give it up for Danae. Hey everyone. How Hi Danae. You? Good evening. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. You got your hair cut. Yeah, so I got my hair cut and straightened. Straightened and cut. Yeah. yeah. It's very rare, Looking but nice. I, I yeah. did it. How much <laughs> is, now how much does that set you back for the girls? Uh, for a while. For what how much how much money? How much money is it? Uh, for a while. It's gonna set me back for a while. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm asking not gonna ask you for a number. How much? <laughs> how much? Uh, a while. Yeah. See, because <laughs> for guys, for guys, it's like it's like this cost me ten dollars. Was it yeah. more? Than, what, it oh was yeah, more. it was okay. way more than that. Right. Uh, we, like we know. introduce <laughs> our executive pro- producer, Amy, is with us tonight. Hello, Amy, pushing all the buttons behind the scene. Hi, how's it going? It's going good, girl. Thank you for uh, for being here tonight. And of course, we're very super excited to have Miss Mia Metcalf. And she is uh, going to be, well, she's a native here of Milwaukee. Uh, and this is why, you know, we do the show called Milwaukee Talkie. It's in and around and about everything that is Milwaukee. And Mia, thank you for uh, coming in tonight. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're very excited. Uh, now, you're going to be on a TV show called Temptation Island. Mm-hmm. And we're going to get all into that because uh, we were all, uh, my girlfriend and I were watching uh, the first first season because I haven't seen it yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it looks uh, it looks pretty fun. And then, uh, and then I'm, we're just going to talk, and, uh, and then we're going to do a little. I've got an email from somebody, so we want everybody to chime in on Facebook uh, if you uh, if you can help this person who wants our help. So we'll invite you. Then we're going to do this thing called viral videos, where we're going to watch some viral videos and comment. And, and most of them are people just being stupid, so we'll have a good time. <laughs> okay, sounds great. Uh, but uh, but let's get right into it. So I'm mm-hmm. super excited you're here. Now we're in our million dollar studios down here at. Uh, Lucid Light Lounge in downtown Milwaukee, and uh, it is uh, fantastic. And I said, hey, have you ever been to Lucid? And you said what? I actually used to work here. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was a go-go dancer. It was so much fun. Not going to lie, go-go dancing is a lot harder than it seems. Than it, yeah. Like, you're up there for... Like 15 minutes at a time, just dancing nonstop. And then, of course, the DJ, he's playing, like, up-tempo music, so you're just going It's like hard. an aerobic workout. Yes, yeah. it is. I swear, I lost, like, 25 pounds working here. <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome. Uh, it's a good way to lose weight and get paid. I mean, I can't think of anything better than that. Exactly. Um, so, uh, so yeah, uh, uh, Donato is uh, the owner here. He's a super amazing guy. He lets us uh, have the studio down here for our podcast, so we appreciate that. And, of course, the radio station. But uh, so funny. I was like, yeah, you know where? Yeah, yeah I've been there before. <laughs> <laughs> in there a couple times, uh, but uh, yeah. So uh, that's uh, and, and that's fantastic. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that all worked out. But um, all right. So tell me a little bit about. Uh, now you're from Milwaukee. Actually, I'm not you're from not. Milwaukee. I just live here. You just live here. Mm. Yes. I actually was born in Iowa. Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. Yeah. And um, like I want to say around the age of 11. I know it was middle school. I can't remember exactly. But around middle school, I moved, lived with my grandparents. My whole family did. And then from there, we moved to Janesville, Wisconsin. And that's like my second hometown. That's where I graduated high school and everything. I went to Craig High School. Go Cougars. Shout out to Craig. (laughs) Go Cougars. (laughs) (laughs) And then I went to UW-Whitewater after that. And that's where I got my bachelor's in journalism. And then basically from Whitewater, I moved here because, you know, I... Fell in love in college. Oh boy! Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm such a hopeless romantic. So of course I followed him here. Yeah. <laughs> so was that a good decision at the end, or, or or is that a bad decision? I mean, honestly, it was a good decision. Yeah. It was a good decision because you know, it 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 prompted like the opportunity to come up here. I don't think that I would have came up here if it hadn't have been for that situation. Yeah. And I'm very big 
firm believer on um, everything happens for a reason. Sure. Mm-hmm. So I believe that, you know, it was meant for me to end up here, and that's why I'm currently here right now. Nice. Very nice. Well, I got to say hey to uh, my boy Glenn Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. Uh, Sandra <laughs> checking in. Hey, Sandra. My boy Steve Mason. What's up, Steve? Uh, and uh, Jeff Larson checking in. So you you followed a guy here, and I would be remiss if I didn't have you on your own Temptation Island and ask. So are you in a current relationship, or are you... Well, single, ready bef- to mingle. What's happening over before there? I went on Temptation Island? Of course, I was single, right? But you will have to definitely tune Ooh. in to Temptation oh Island to see if I find <laughs> love out there. Ooh. All right, so Temptation Island is going to be uh Thursday, season two airs Thursday at 10 o'clock, uh, nine cent- eastern. Is that what it is? Nine central, nine central, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, on the USA network, and uh. So are we allowed to say, so? because I know you're not allowed to talk about all that stuff, because uh, the first episode actually happens tomorrow, although there is a leak on YouTube. Yeah. is that Was that supposed to be that way? Yes, it was. Okay, and funny story is, we, none of the castmates for the season knew it was dropping. Really? It was like, we <laughs> we were in a group, like, chat, and we're talking, and somebody's like, oh my gosh, they dropped the first season or they dropped the first episode. It's on YouTube and it's on um, USA Network. And they're like, does anybody know about this? Why weren't we told? Like, we were all freaking out and stuff because it's like we've been waiting for the premiere for like months now. Well, yeah. actually, we've been waiting for the premiere since we went to Temptation Island. Right. So when did you when did you actually go? Um, I actually went this summer. So it was this summer. It was the summer that we filmed, okay. yeah. It was like. Is it the whole, same island all the time, or is there different? Island? Um, I believe it's the same island. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, it is. It's definitely a fantasy out there. Yeah. Well, listen. If you have questions right now on on uh, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, wherever we're at, you're seeing this YouTube. Uh, you can always hit us up. I will ask for you. But I, I'm fascinated. I love reality TV. I get she suckered me into watching. Uh, 90 Day Fiance, and now I can't stop watching it. I feel like such a loser. Yeah. Um, hey, that's a good show. It is a good that's show. That's a good show. <laughs> so uh, then we started watching Temptation Island, and it's uh, but and I'm also in the in the industry where I know behind the scenes I shoot video and edit video and stuff. So I, I kind of know how they put stuff together. Um, so how real is reality television? Because it and I know the answer, but I want you to tell me. Well, reality television, of course, there are like some things that they want to happen so i feel like you know they might behind the scenes you know go over here you know and kind of put a bug in somebody's ear to make them kind of give them the reaction Mm -hmm. that they want but i mean (laughs) when you think about it everything that happens is totally real but it's just like journalism Mm -hmm. you know with the news and the press and stuff we we control what people think about sure not how they think of actually no i got that backwards we control how people think about things because right. we like you know emphasize certain stories if we want them you know people to really focus on it right and then we kind of minimize certain stories if we don't want people sure. to focus on it yeah I've, and it's kind of yeah. like the same thing with reality tv reality tv is very much a reflection of like mm-hmm. journalism right so is that yeah. why you went on the show Actually, like what drew you to even go on? <laughs> Actually, no. So like before, um, before going into reality TV, I knew nothing about it. Same thing with journalism. Before going into journalism, I knew nothing about it. And it's like once I actually got in it, I was totally shocked. Mm-hmm. You know, I I actually thought you know, I mean, of course it's TV, so they want to have control of what happens and everything. Right. But for me going into it, I really thought you know. I'm out here living my best life. I'm doing whatever <laughs> I want and stuff. But it's, it's, you know, it's not that. Of course, you know, they have to keep you in certain places and stuff like that for yeah. things to happen. Yeah, so I know the premise, and if you don't know the premise of Temptation Island, and I just watched it, so, and I don't even know why a couple would want to go on there, but a cu- couples go on there, and then there's other people there uh, that uh, are to entice, you know, to, I guess to test the relationship or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, you were one of the the contestants that uh, was testing, correct? Yeah, yeah, I was a temptress. A temptress. Oh, Ooh, is that what they call you? Yes. And the temptor. <laughs> temptor. Oh. Um, but uh, so let's back up. When you you saw an ad on Craigslist, how did you get involved? Did you, eight, eight, you had a, somebody call you and say, hey, they're casting for the show? How do you get involved with something like that? Let me tell you. So actually, 
I had just stopped seeing a guy that I really liked. Mm. And I was like hysterical about it because I really, really liked him. Sure. But I had to end things because he kind of works for my ex. And I was like, that's a messy situation. I, you know, I don't want to talk to you. It's just too close for comfort. And so basically I broke things off with him and I was hysterical. I was crying my eyes out. Like I was like, oh my gosh, I'll never find love. This is never going to happen. And I was on the phone with my sister the whole time doing this. She's like, Mia, calm down, Mia, calm down. Nothing would calm me down. And I was just scrolling through Instagram while I'm talking on the phone with her. And an application for Temptation Island pops up. And I just like randomly out of the blue. And so I'm like, you know, what's what's the worst that could happen? You know, I could possibly find love here. So I was like, scroll up. I filled it out. Literally the next day I got a call. Wow. wow. So what do they ask you? Like, what are you, are you a party girl? I mean, what kind of questions <laughs> do they, do you have to snap a picture? Um, I mean, they ask me just like normal kind of interview questions a little bit. Right. Kind of personality questions too. Mm-hmm. And then they kind of ask me like, did I know about the show before? Do I know the premise of the show? Am I okay with that? Right. <laughs> you know? And I was like, yeah, I mean, bring it on. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, so then you got the call back. How did it shock you? Did it, and then you were like, they they said what well um when i got the call back she was like we'll be in touch and i was like okay you know um i really wasn't getting my hopes up because i'm thinking you know of course i was like they call back everybody they check on everybody right (laughs) i'm thinking i'm nothing special but then um i got a call i think it was a couple of days later and she's like yeah we want to do a skype interview with you with um some of the casting producers and then i was like okay cool this is awesome yeah and so i was really like excited about that and then we did the skype and the skype went really good oh i was so nervous for that that was my first like ever like skype with like people out in la like it's so official yeah oh my god this is cool (laughs) (laughs) yeah wow and um after the skype interview you know it was another like it was multiple rounds and then after the skype interview i was like okay you know after this round i'm done like (laughs) they're not chasing me right I was like, this has gone far enough. You're thinking so negative. (laughs) I know I want it. (laughs) I got to have more faith in myself. (laughs) And then so after the Skype interview, I got a call like two weeks later. And they're like, yeah, we want to fly you out to L.A. They want to see you in person. They want to meet you and everything else. Okay, I'm literally going psycho. I'm jumping up and down. I haven't even made it onto the show, but I'm jumping up and down for the simple fact that I'm going to L.A. Because it's like I'm a small town girl. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up in Iowa. I've never been to California before. This was a huge, you know, experience for me. I was like, yes. <laughs> Not only am I going to L.A., but I'm going to L.A. to go audition for a TV show. Yeah. Wow. Like a dream. That's, awesome. I mean, that's pretty big. I know it was. And then so I went out to L.A. The whole experience was magical. Like we did um, casting the first day and stuff like that. And then we had another day where it was just um, you would go into separate rooms, talk to people and everything else, you know, just so they could get more information on you as a person was there other contestants there at there this point? there were but the thing about it is like they're like you can't talk to anybody literally <laughs> oh, like wow. i was scared to look at other people I was like oh my gosh i shouldn't look at you right. why <laughs> they're gonna kick me off the shelf <laughs> no it's just because i feel like it's because they want to keep um you know the selection process very private because they don't want it getting out that these people are on the show before the show okay. even films. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it kind of spoils it because oh, yeah. it's like they had the release of all the singles mm-hmm. on our Instagram page, Temptation um, TV and stuff. And it's like, that's when America gets to see who we are. Mm. So they don't okay. really want to, you know, they spoil don't want to spoil it before right. that. So. Yeah. And then it's like, if I'm talking to somebody else, I'm like, oh, I met this cool girl and everything else. You know, that could leak it too. Mm-hmm. If, you know, I start talking about the people that I met out in L.A. Right. right. So, mm-hmm. yeah, the whole process is very private and I totally understand. But, I mean, they take care of you. It's really great. Yeah. <laughs> no, awesome. It looks awesome. so much fun. Uh, now, how many cat fights are on the set of the? Uh, because I imagine it has to be a. It's a house full of girls. Oh, what do you think? Gosh. <laughs> you definitely oh. got to tune in for all the drama. Uh, like, I'm telling you, there's drama. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some people start the drama right away, but like they come out, hey, my name is so and so, and I'm gonna take your man. I'm like, whoa. Oh my god, calm what down. What a mix. <laughs> you guys will definitely see that um on tomorrow's episode, so make sure you watch that because we have um what's it called. The reveal. Yeah. That's where the couples meet the singles. That's yeah. where they meet us. And, you know, 
we were we come there for a man too you know hey <laughs> so, Hi, man. just saying like yeah. i feel like the ladies within the couples weren't really expecting that and they were shocked yeah you know when we came with that energy and they mm-hmm. should have came with that same energy mm-hmm. like right. Yeah. I'm solid in this relationship, but you know, yeah. you'll see all that tomorrow. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Wow. We're talking to uh, Mia Metcalf. She's uh, she lives right here in Milwaukee, uh, from Iowa originally, and she's on Temptation Island, which uh, happens tomorrow. Happens to air tomorrow on TV, uh, but uh, you can catch it on YouTube if you just can't wait. But not right now because we got a whole bunch of more stuff going. On. Uh, but uh, that's awesome. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, you can hit us up uh, and uh, and ask uh, for sure. Because I'm I know a lot of people. Uh, you know, they see these shows and they want to know like how much is real and what do you guys get paid? Does anybody get paid to be on there? Well, I mean, we get paid, of course, but that's because we're literally uprooting our lives. You know, we're stopping our jobs. Mm-hmm. We're going out there and it's like just because we're on a TV show, our bills still got to get paid at home. Like my rent still got to get paid and yeah. still got to get paid. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I feel like the the, you know, production company, they understand that. So they pay us for that it's not like we get paid you know like a lot, lot. yeah right. like an absorber- here's a, a million dollars exactly yeah. go it's, spend it it's enough money though to take care of my bills for when i'm gone yeah. okay. which is really that's nice good. Yeah, yeah that's awesome that's nice. um now what is the rule with uh with a temptress uh, hooking up with a temptor or, or you, you know what i mean because I, I always imagine there's a bunch of hot guys there there's a bunch of hot girls i mean <sighs> how are you staying off each because i know you're supposed to go to the couples but where any guys where does anybody like trying to hook up otherwise i mean we're separated in two yeah. different houses okay. so it would be hard but i'm not gonna lie when i saw the single guys i was like they're attractive too. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you know, all kinds of guys <laughs> you know i'm trying, no, I'm sure trying to get a taken man it. or a single, single man, man you know? well. <laughs> yeah. so obviously the the uh the the whole thing is uh, there's people that are in relationships are testing their relationship did you ever feel bad like you were trying to you could knowingly stealing somebody's man basically or i mean obviously that's the rule of the mm-hmm. game so can you c- compartmentalize that and put it away and be like hey this is just part of the deal yeah I mean, that's the whole premise of the show. Like, the couples, they go out there knowing what this experience is all about. They know that we're single. And it's like, what do you do when you're single? Of course, you're going to flirt with people. You're going to go after people and stuff like that. Like, single life is totally different than being in a relationship. Yeah. And so it's like, they know what they know what to expect. They've been single before. And so, no, I didn't feel bad at all because I'm just looking at it like, yeah, these guys have girlfriends, but honestly, for this experience, they're single. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. how we have to, you know, play it out. Now, is there an incentive? Uh, do they, is there anything you get anything if you actually land one of the mar- you know, one of the couples? <laughs> like, uh, is there something behind the scenes or anything? <laughs> there is it. I mean, honestly, for all of us, if we landed a guy, it was the satisfaction of making a genuine connection and meeting somebody yeah. that could actually spark, you know, a relationship mm-hmm. or. You know, you guys could get married in the future. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, well, I, you, I know you can't tell us if that happened. <laughs> yes. Uh, like, we have to watch <laughs> yes, every yes, Thursday. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, good. Uh, well, when you, before you started, you had something, I'm sure, in your mind of what it was going to be like. Now that it's over, did it live up to your expectations? The whole, the whole kit and caboodle? Okay. It was more than I expected. It was way more than I expected. Like... I went out there thinking, you know, I was just going to fall in love and that was it. But I experienced so much more than that. I experienced more than, you know, making a connection with the guy. I experienced making friendships. Like all of the people from production to cast, I'm going to be friends with for the rest of my life. Like that was an experience that, you know, a lot of people don't get in their life. And it's like we all went through that and we all bonded over that. Yeah. So I made a lot of friends. And, you know, I, lo- I made a lot of connections out there. Yeah, that's awesome. good. That's oh. awesome. That's good. I do have to ask the question, what does your family think about it? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> what does mommy think hey, oh my every God. Thursday watching yes. her baby? Mom and dad, I'm going to be on Temptation Island. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I remember telling my mom that, and she goes, reality TV? <laughs> 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 and I'm like, and I'm like mm. yeah. She's like, Mia... You know, this is great, but you're so much better. <laughs> <laughs> of course, moms always have to say that, right? Oh, I know, of course, moms always. want you to shoot for the stars, but I'm like, mom, I got to start somewhere, you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you don't yeah. get to start right out with your own. You know? <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, 
Um, but yeah. Are they gonna? Are they gonna? Did they watch YouTube? Or are they gonna wait for it to come on TV? Or are they gonna watch it at all? We're waiting. We're gonna have a little private party oh, at my apartment awesome. tomorrow. That's awesome. And watch it. Yeah. That'll be nice. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um, now you're on Instagram. So what did you? Uh, what do you do uh, when you're not? When you know, not at your back. When do you have? Do you have? You know, do you have like modeling stuff? Or what do you normally do? Yeah, I do model. I've actually been modeling for I think want to say three years now. And basically just one random day, I, you know, I actually always had this dream of being a model when I was little, but I didn't, you know, hit that growth spur in high school. So I was <laughs> Neither like, did I. I was like, it's, it's not happening. I kind of gave up on that dream and I went to college instead. And then after college, I was like, you know, this still doesn't really make me the happy. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to do it. Mm-hmm start out whatever see where it takes me and basically i just started and the next thing you know people were on instagram photographers were hitting me up let's shoot and everything the next thing you know companies were hitting me up to do you know campaigns and promotions and stuff and then next thing you know i'm getting booked and i was like this is awesome yeah yeah you just got to believe in yourself and just start yeah is that is that any advice you would give to somebody that's looking to kind of follow in your career, you know, just figure it all out? Yeah, honestly, if it's your passion, just go for it. And then once you go for it, though, you really have to be dedicated. I mean, there's been so many days where I've thought to myself, why am I doing this? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, like this is so much work. It's so hard. Like people, people don't understand that, like when you do something like that it's it's more than a nine to five like the work that you're putting in for a career like this it's more than a nine to five it's like when you go home you don't switch it off you're always focusing on your passion like i gotta eat right i gotta go to the gym like i gotta set up shoots i gotta think about you know because i'm not like a major you know fashion model out in new york and stuff i gotta put together my own shoots i gotta do my own hair my own own makeup yes i gotta find my own outfit style myself like this is it's a job itself and honestly no i don't get paid what i deserve for it yet right but all this work that i'm putting into it right now i feel like you know it's gonna come nice yeah uh that's good awesome. well uh it was exciting to uh to see you here and uh know a local girls on and and, and, <laughs> and uh, that's uh that's that's really cool to be Thank uh to you. be part of that um do you have uh when you were on the island when you met mark Wahlberg? uh when, oh my gosh what was that like <laughs> it was awesome <laughs> like okay like i've seen him on tv and i mean I've met now, just to be clear, he's not the other because when I saw it's like, oh, yeah. oh, Mark Wahlberg, I'm like, oh, Marky Mark. No, yeah. it's not him. <laughs> apparently, there's another Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. calls himself the short Mark. Oh, so he, <laughs> <laughs> is he short? He's just shorter than Mark. Yeah, you know, okay. Marky Mark. Yeah, <laughs> Marky Mark. <laughs> so, how did, so did you already get cast before you met him, or was he out no, there? No, I didn't meet him till we were actually on the island. And it was just so surreal because it's like, you know, I've met celebrities before because I used to work at the radio station, um, V100 with all those. And so I met other people through that. Right. But it was like, I don't know, like, I've never met somebody like Mark Wahlberg. And it was like when I saw him, I was like, oh, my gosh, it's like this is crazy. Like, I don't know why. Yeah. I was freaking out, though. I was really yeah. freaking out. <laughs> Now, when they bring you out, did you, were you like ever sitting in their back? You're like, I can't believe I'm on this thing. Like, it's so weird. Yes. Yeah. Okay. When you first get there and you, you know, you, you're first on set and you see cameras around. Oh my gosh. I was so awkward during our first taping. I was like running <laughs> from the cameras. Nervous. Yes. I was running from the cameras. I was kind of like in the corner with my drink, just looking. <laughs> I was looking at the cameras, observe other people. Like, yeah. <laughs> How yeah. they act. Yeah. How should I act? Well, Danae watched it. She said, well, she's kind of in the back a little bit. And I was like, oh. I was like, oh, I think that's her right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, she's just hanging out. Yes. She I was super a little shy yes. at first. Yeah. I've always been shy my whole life, so I've kind of grown out of that now. But, you know, the first day I was on set, it kind of brought me back to that time where I was just like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm so scared. Yeah. But I got out of it. Like, once... Once you do it multiple times and stuff, it's like you get used to the cameras Mm -hmm. being there. And the next thing you know, you forget they're even there. Yeah. People Mm -hmm. say that, again, I shoot a lot of videos and stuff and I've I've been in some productions and it's so true. Like people like, oh, there's always, they know it's like, yeah, there are cameras and you are mic'd up. But man, after like Mm -hmm. even a couple hours, you just kind of forget about it and they're Mm -hmm. there and you, and you, and you, you, 
you are who you are. A camera's not going to stop. You know, exactly. you know, maybe you can hide it for an hour, but you can't hide it for. <laughs> A week. How long did you go? How, what is it like? Six weeks? We were out there for four weeks. Four weeks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. So, is there anything? I know you can't tell specifically about the show, but like being on the island, is there stuff that was you were like, dude, this sucks, or the bugs, or the bathrooms? definitely the bugs. Yeah. <laughs> definitely the bugs. It's like it's like um, when you watch TV. You don't think about environmental right. factors. You no. don't think about the heat mm-hmm. and how hot it is and stuff like that. You're just watching. You're like, mm-hmm. oh, it's paradise. So then it's like when you actually get to paradise, there's bugs. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh-huh. it's super hot. I'm sweating my makeup off <laughs> and everything else. I've got like armpit little marks and stuff. So I'm sweating so much. And it's like, yeah, you don't think about that stuff when yeah. you're watching TV. But that was probably the one thing that when I was out there, I was like, darn. I do not like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, it, is it in the Caribbean? Is that where the island is? Um, it's not parts? in the Caribbean. It's um, in the Pacific. Pacific. It's in the Pacific Ocean. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. but Because I guess they're not really allowed to say exactly where it is. Or it's other... Temptation Island. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you it's Temptation Island. You can't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's tempting just to find it. You have to be chosen to go there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, all right, if you have a question or whatever, hit us up. Make sure you hit share, <laughs> like, and comment. We're talking to Mia Medcalf. She is on Temptation Island. You can see it tomorrow. Uh, we're going to run a little something. I want to tell you about our sponsor is CutMyCableNow.com. CutMyCableNow.com. Check this out. $30 a month. You get every single channel you can ever imagine. All NFL, all Major League Baseball, all sporting events. Uh, it's super awesome. I got it. I love it. Um, I watch, well, I'm watch. i from Washington, D.C. originally. I can watch all the Washington, D.C. Uh, TV stations. Um, you can watch all kinds of stuff for thirty bucks a month. If you just all you need is it, it, everyone I talk to, their cable bill is one hundred and fifty, one hundred and twenty, one eighty. It's so crazy. Imagine for thirty dollars a month, you can get every single channel right on your TV. We got a Fire Stick. You can watch it on a tablet. Uh, in fact, check this out, and we'll be back with uh, more with Mia and us here on the Marco Nation Milwaukee Talkie. Fed up with the rising cost of cable and satellite. How much does it cost? All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go that again. Let's turn that one off. Forgot about that one. All right, now run. We'll run it again, and then we'll do it from the top. There we go. Cutmycablenow.com. You got it. <laughs> All right, there we go. We'll be back. Watch TV. The average household pays between one hundred and one hundred and fifty dollars every month. Finally fed up with the rising cost of cable and satellite? Cut the cord and start watching the channels you want at a fraction of the cost. With IXQ TV, you'll have access to thousands of live TV channels, including sports, movies, news, premium networks, kids channels, and even local channels for as low as $39 a month. Stream in HD on your TV, tablet, phone, or even computer with multiple devices streaming at the same time. IXQ TV requires no contracts or credit checks, no installation or cancellation fees, no bogus surcharges or hidden fees. $39 a month means $39 a month. Say goodbye to high cable bills forever. Visit your website here to set up a 24-hour free trial today. And we are back. Yes. There you go. That says uh that's actually says thirty nine dollars a month, but it's not. It's less now. It's only thirty. They've uh, dropped it down. So uh cut my cable now dot com. You get a free trial. You don't even need a credit card to sign up uh when you do it. So uh very good. We're back. Uh thanks to everybody who's uh tuning in. Sandra, gotta say hey. Uh, and uh, Nikki also, 90 Day Fiance, Love After Lockup. That's another one. I watch that one too. Yeah. I feel like I, I so I don't, I hate getting suckered into these. Then I start watching them. We actually watched Temptation. I'm like, all right, let's watch the next one. <laughs> Killing me. Um, all right. Uh, we want you to chime in here. Hit like, share, and comment. Uh, you can go to me. Uh, Insta- What's your Instagram? My Instagram is at Miami5. Miami5. Why'd you pick that? Actually, it was like a long story. So when I started my Instagram, I wanted it to be a nickname that my friends gave me, Mia Me. 
and I wanted to put a dash in between the two. But when Instagram, like when I first started my Instagram, it wouldn't allow you to put a dash. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know why it never dawned on me to put like a dot yeah. or a period or something. But <laughs> or I really underscore. wanted the dash. <laughs> I really wanted the dash. And when the dash didn't work, I gave up on it. You're like, that's it. <laughs> I gave up on it. And so I put it together. And I'm look, you know, from my perspective, I'm looking at it. I'm like, it's Mia, me, five. You know, that's what it is. Yeah. And then other people started reading it. And then like people would come up to me in real life and they'd be like, hey, Miami Five. I'd be like, what? Miami Five. <laughs> I was like, what? what? How did you get that? Yeah. And then I look at it and I read it. I was like, oh. oh that's how they go. Oh. Uh, well, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some people over to your Instagram. Uh, make sure you can follow mm -hmm. me and see everything. Uh, all right. We're going to read an email here we got. And uh, we're going to go around the room. Uh, this person uh, is going to remain nameless, but they want to know if they are in the wrong. Um, we got this uh, at the radio station, and I thought it would be good for us to uh, to kind of dissect uh, here and see what you like. Because uh, this is actually going to be good because this is sort of a guy being stupid to his fiance, And uh, we have three ladies here, so I want to get the, get the <laughs> right. ladies' perspective. <laughs> I think I already know where it's all going to go. Uh, but I'll read the email, and then we'll decide. And, and plus, if you want to uh, hook us up on Facebook, if you want to chime in and you want to uh, tell us what you think, if you think this person is wrong or right, let us know. Uh, hey, Marco, I just wanted to ask a quick question because everyone says I'm in the wrong, but I don't think so. We recently moved to a cheap area where $60,000 is a lot. That is a lot. That's a lot to me, but mm -hmm. um, I don't earn. Uh, uh, oh, I don't earn that, but. I use it for comparable purposes. Wife is a spender, especially on frivolous items. Now, I earn a lot, but through the years, I've always told my girlfriends that my salary is small as I didn't want any gold diggers. Present girlfriend became my wife, but I still kept up the pre precedence that I didn't make a lot of money. Now I'm afraid of her finding out my true salary because A, she'll spend it on stupid stuff. She didn't say stuff. And B, she'll be pissed at me for lying. I invest this additional money wisely, ensuring that we can retire early. So am I the jerk here for continuing this deception, or should I tell her the truth? So uh, he says, but he, he makes over $150,000 a year. Uh, but his wife thinks that he makes about forty. Oh, my gosh. That's a big difference. <laughs> it's about, oh, my God. Uh, three times. Three, he makes three times as that. Oh, wow. Uh, so he wants to know, is he the jerk for... Uh, for basically doing that, or what do you guys think? Yes. So, yeah. Wait, that's been... his wife, though. Yeah. Well, but it started out as the girlfriend. But still, he, they they should have had that discussion uh -huh. before marriage. Yeah. Why is he lying? That's... Well, he did. He lied at first. I know, but when why they is he were continuing just continuing. Okay. Lie? Well, well, because he said, now mm -hmm. if I tell her, you're already into the lie at this point. Well, then why can't he have a discussion with her to say, but how hey. do they do their taxes? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the real question. Well, if he makes that much, he probably has he an account. Probably, yeah, he probably has an account. And he invests. And kind of oh, says, wow. oh, I'll take care of the taxes or I'll do it or something. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Um, so, all right, Mia, what do you so think? he just has a big bunch of money? He just has a lot of money. <laughs> but he says he invested so they can retire. So, yeah, early. which is great. Like, what does he but do why can't he tell his wife? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, from Stacy. Why are they not communicating? Spending that money. Yeah. If he's see, if he's worried about spending, then why aren't they speaking about a budget? Are these people two grown adults? Um, Honestly, I feel like you know he has the right to control mm -hmm. his own money. I mean, he earns it; it's his money and stuff. I just feel like he's wrong for lying to his wife about it. Yeah, but it wasn't his wife at first. Yes. Okay. When it was his girlfriend. <laughs> It, when it was his girlfriend, honestly, I don't feel like he had to disclose that information. You know, that's more of something that you guys kind of build up or, you know, build a bond where you feel comfortable enough to kind of disclose that kind of information. Cause right. It's not like I'm going to go on the third date with a guy and be like, you know, I make $50,000 a month, you know. Right. <laughs> it's like you just mm -hmm. don't say that. So, I mean, as long as, you know, they were boyfriend and girlfriend, it was okay for him to keep it a secret. But yeah. Now that they're married, it's a little mm -hmm. bit like, what That's a are whole you doing? new level. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're trusting them and to keep this from them yeah. for however long. Yeah. That's but not cool. If they <laughs> had money issues, okay, whatever. But if they were struggling oh, and yeah. he would not tell her about his goose egg, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alimony. And what's going to happen when she does find <laughs> out? And when she finds out from someone else? 
than well, him. Well, yeah. But the thing is, he's already too You're far lying. into what the else, line. What else are you lying it's about? It's not too far into. <laughs> it's not too far. Like you guys are married. You guys already said till death mm-hmm. do you part. So mm-hmm. yeah. You know. She just um, might kill you now. Yes, for yeah, insurance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Carl there you says, go. And retire. <laughs> on her own. <laughs> you should have been honest from the get-go, certainly considering you're married. You married her. What do you think would go wrong if you said you make X, but you just, uh, but not just pocket money and saving for the future? Uh, I don't know. I think, um, I mean, I can understand both sides. Obviously, if you're worried, if you make a lot of money, you know, that's something, a guy or a girl, you know. I mean, if you start modeling and you start making big and, and you're bringing in and you, and you got a guy and you're not really sure, does he like me because I'm... I'm a model. Mm-hmm. I'm famous. I'm doing stuff, or just like me. For me, that's a that's a valid question. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can see where you would start off with, mm-hmm. you know, hey, I don't, you know, but you're right. It, there's a line there, and then you got to say, hey, well, <laughs> I mean, how is he supposed to bring it up now? Hey, babe, I got to talk to you. Remember when I told you I made, you know, forty thousand dollars? Well, I make one hundred and fifty. She's gonna be mad. She's gonna get mad. She's gonna be livid. Uh, I mean, I, for, I'm livid for her right I, now. I know I would. I would just because that's oh, yeah. such a big thing to hide from somebody, especially somebody that you married. That's mm-hmm. like the person that you marry. You're supposed to share, you know, mm-hmm. everything. Right. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's really big to hide. Uh, Lee Krieger says, is he worried she's a gold digger? Well, Obviously not. But no, she's, she's not. oh. By no, now, no, he but he's. Know. I think he said he's. She spends a lot on friv- frivolous money, frivolous stuff. Though she mm-hmm. goes out, she buys stuff that she doesn't need. So is that within like forty thousand dollars or where? Like, <laughs> well, no, he he's just saying that she spends a lot. She likes spending things. Okay. So, he, so she doesn't really spend a lot now because they don't quote unquote have a lot. Uh, if she found out that she had a lot, she instead of driving a nice Prius, she would get a you know Bentley. And is then, she spending her money though? Oh you no! Know? He's, 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 I think he's spending his money. Oh. Um, <laughs> I know, right? Mm. Mm. This is a twist. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this guy says. So you're afraid she's fi- going to find out your true salary? She'll spend it all on dumb stuff. Plus, she'll be pissed at you for lying. Why the hell did you marry her? Yeah. Um, I mean, this person yeah. says that be- kind of is the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he in a marriage, finances is one of the most important things to be honest about. If you trust her so little with money, then you should have addressed that before getting married. Mm-hmm. Who marries somebody that doesn't trust? Yeah. Um, it does sound like kind of a toxic thing. I, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, what do you think, Danae? It's so negative. Because now she's going to have at the back of her mind that Well, she doesn't was, know yet. Well, when she does find <laughs> out, whether he when tells her or she finds out on her own. Yeah. Like, okay, why did you take so long to tell me? Exactly. Uh, yeah, because uh, this is, this is, if you get a divorce, you've got to be honest then because the lawyers will be up in there. Um, and you and can't, she's getting half. Can't hide right. that. Well, if he wants to, like, softly tell her, be like, hey, I got a raise at work today. Yeah. Oh, oh, but then and now we got to love the oh, lie. Oh, that's another lie. A lie on top of the Amy, lie. Amy, you're hey. supposed to be on the, the one webs side. we weave. Exactly. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Uh, hit us up with a comment and let us know. Um... <laughs> there's, some, there's some stuff I can't read. Um, Do they have kids? Uh, oh, it doesn't say. Question. Yeah. Um, you say you love her supposedly, but not really. Apparently, uh, this guy True. says he's a rich, lying a hole. Uh, you know, you're treating your spouse like a child, not a partner. That's that's something. That's that, huge. Yeah. That's yeah. huge. Yeah, hiding your salary from your wife is something straight out of a comedy. Oh uh, yeah, that does sound like something King of Queens or something, you know, some, something on Friends or something that you know, and then they'll have to find out. But the, the <laughs> point is, you're you're at a point now where no matter what you do, you're in, mm-hmm. if you keep the lie up, you're going to be in trouble. If she finds out you're lying, you're definitely going to be mm-hmm. in trouble. You just got to figure out what the least trouble is going to cause. Probably him admitting it, yeah. yeah, because then he came out and told the truth. Because mm-hmm. if she found out otherwise, then he was still hiding it. Yeah. So what if he? What if he said, you know what? I am. I've. Uh, I, uh, the day I tell my wife I'm going to buy a pair of ten thousand dollar earrings, and I'm going to give her the earrings and say, "Babe, I've been see that way you get you get some ten thousand dollar earrings." And he's like, "Listen, I've had some money, I lied. Oh my Here's goodness! Here's what I'm going to buy. What do you guys think? Would you would it be buying you off? Would you guys be happy with ten thousand dollar earrings? No, 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 not at all. It doesn't remove the fact that he hit it. Yeah, so he's screwed. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. mm-hmm. yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, hopefully, uh, <laughs> everybody is pretty much on your guys' side. Uh, that uh, that is not cool. But. Yeah, that's not cool. All right, so there you go. Turns out you are the ass. 
Disappointment. <laughs> good luck. So all the girls here say you should probably tell somebody. Yeah. Uh, all right. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that's good. We're going to uh, do our uh, our segment here coming up. Uh, make sure you hit share, like, and comment. Thank you very much for being here. And uh, thank you for being here as well. We're super excited uh, to have uh, Mia Metcalf is going to be on Temptation Island tomorrow on the USA Network. It starts at 9 here at Central Time if you're on the East Coast because I know we have a lot of East Coast people that watch our show here. Uh, it's going to be at 10 o'clock for you. But it's going to be fun. And if you haven't watched any Temptation Island, um, make sure you uh, you get it done. I'm going to go to our um, we're going to go to our viral videos here. All right. So, uh, like you said, if we're going to uh, this is a little segment, man, that because you, you don't know you haven't seen, but we're going to play a viral a couple of viral videos here. Okay. Uh, these are videos that are making rounds uh, on the internet, and uh, obviously, there's so much stuff online. You, you would believe you wouldn't believe half this stuff would be true. So, uh, this is one of my favorites. This is uh, I first of all I love cats. You want to make that the <laughs> the other. So this this I had to get. So watch this this cat's tail. You know they can't control their tail, and it slaps him in the face, and he thinks somebody hit him. Watch this. So his tail gets all aggressive, and it smacks him in the face, and he runs away like somebody hit him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the? It doesn't matter if you're having the worst day in the world. Like he's just looking at something, and bam. Oh. We we Poor recently kitty. yeah we recently got a cat. Um, uh-huh. And uh, and she constantly chases your tails because they, mm. they just don't know it's a part of their body. Really, I did not know that they honestly can't control it. No. no. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why they get so freaked out when you touch their tail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, but I like that you know, smacked right in the face with your own tail. What? Bam! That is a bad day. Uh, that yeah. That is a bad day. That like, is... just imagine, you know, if we couldn't control our arms and then all of a sudden, yeah, you, you, know, or you, sma- you smack somebody else in the face. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get to our uh, next viral <laughs> video here. Um, is this a video or a sign? Uh, uh, maybe this is a sign. Like a sign. All right, make it full screen. Was in case of emergency. Oh yeah, yeah. So this was a sign. Uh, um, this, the, the actual the, <laughs> the actual words are, are somebody that just is, is saying that. So, oh, right. Okay. So this is a sign. This is a you're supposed to go out and climb out of the. That's supposed to be his leg. That's supposed to be his leg. Yeah. Why is it so <laughs> that yeah. is not anatomically correct. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why it does is. it look like that? Why is it stiff? Why is it stiff? Why like, is it, well, because I think they just drew it quick. But uh, yeah, I think they should have drew the, the shoe knee. a little bit more accurate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he has a hole. <laughs> really it does look like thing. a Yeah. It's so a stub. Uh, yeah. It's so. Like a stub. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something happened. I don't know. But that is an actual he sign. He lost his foot. Just <laughs> don't make fun of him. Yeah. 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 But if you had it, you would definitely do a double take if you were walking down the street. Not oh sure what's happening. Oh, my God. There. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was hilarious. Yeah, thanks to one of our uh, listeners sent that in to us. Uh, all right, so uh, this is the next one here of our viral videos. Where we have a couple of monitors, which is why we're all looking up uh, at the <laughs> monitors here. That's the only way you can see it. Um, nothing happening? Uh, hit play? Yeah, nothing? All right, well, let's go to the next one. This is what I love about live TV. Oh, man, that was going to be a good one. Mm. Ah, all right, uh, hit la- <laughs> like, share, and comment. Uh, there's a lot of comments about the the, the leg that I'm not going to get into uh, from other people. <laughs> uh, all right, oh, so this is a, so this is actually a 75-year-old guy. Uh, you're going on the next one? Oh, no, this is something else. All right, so this is a guy riding a wheelie. It wasn't happening? No. Uh, all right, there we go. So these you, you've seen these people probably all around. They mm-hmm. love. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. Wow. That guy was riding a wheelie and actually rode right over the four wheeler. Looks like oh. he's going to be okay, oh. but if uh, I think it'll play again, yeah, watch him. So the guy in the yellow bike over there is not paying attention. Oh then, my god! Oh. <laughs> what was he doing? Was he not looking ahead? He, no, no, of course well, not. Look look again. Crazy. No. Yeah, he starts to ride a wheelie. You can see him speed up. He's like, I'm going to oh. ride a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the the more you, watch it. <laughs> yeah. you do have to watch these a lot a few times but it looks like he's gonna be at least he had a helmet on yeah uh, at least whoa there he goes yeah. dude got <laughs> some like serious uses, air he uses the the four-wheeler as like a ramp yeah <laughs> yeah that's exactly what happened he uses it as a ramp there uh yeah, it, 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 we, that happens in Milwaukee. I see like a bunch of bikes that's doing wheelies and uh, causing all kinds of chaos. Uh, all right, this is uh this is another good one. 
I was telling you guys, I was telling you, remember when I said, uh, Amy, you were there, we were at a party, and I said, the helium balloons, when you, when you, if you get fire near them or anything, they go nuts. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. yeah. And then we uh, we were trying to throw one on this campfire. Oh, so Nothing really happened. Point, because yeah. at the party, you didn't do anything. Right. Watch <laughs> this. So she lets these balloons go, which is stupid anyway, but then she hits the power lines. <gasps> oh, oh, my God. Lights are out in the whole entire oh. city. See? Run away. Look, they <laughs> they oh get their God. phone out. Uh, oh, my God. She knocked an entire city grid out. Look, you can see the lights so behind what her. Could, was she 20? I don't know. 21. She graduated. It was her 21. Yeah. 21st birthday. See? If that was me, I would have just ran because I'd be like, they're going to try to sue me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude. I'm going to have to pay to restore all the power in this oh, whole yeah. city. <laughs> the city grid. <laughs> everything's down. Maybe it is a graduation. I don't know. But. All right, man. Oh, my oh, God. That's crazy. Yeah. See, that's not good. That's not, <laughs> I saw yeah. one uh, was a birthday, and they, she was blowing out candles and had a bunch, and the, the balloons caught on fire. Like, the whole house. I mean, it's insane. So th- those things are very flammable, by the way. Mm. Uh, all right, let's uh, get to uh, the next viral video here. Thanks for checking us out on Milwaukee Talkie. Oh, this is good. Like, so well, before share. you ro- Yeah. You know the Kevin Bacon scene when he uh, jumps up on the chair, flips mm-hmm. it down, and is really cool? This guy's not. <laughs> <laughs> So he, what he does is he, oh, he misses. Oh, oh, yeah, he misses. And I don't know if that's his drink spilling. Yeah, or, what yeah. was that that exploded? I think it's drink. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's his drink. <laughs> yeah. It looked like powder. But look, He's he doesn't done. even get his hand Boom. down. Got him, Mom. <laughs> he doesn't even get his hand down. like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> now, mm. I think what he's got in his hand is an alcoholic beverage, so yeah. I'm pretty sure he didn't feel that. Kids but don't try, t- don't try this at home. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You can see what happens. His foot hits about four inches short on the top of the chair. It's supposed to go to the top. Came up a little short on that one. There you go. But you see all kinds of stuff at weddings. <laughs> at weddings? Okay. <laughs> Man, trust me. Uh, this is good. I'm a big hockey fan. Um, can you make that picture? Yeah. So oh. this guy is coming out, and he gets his stick caught, oh, and he basically time. cross-checks himself. Wow. you got to feel like the biggest <laughs> moron. Right. Because normally in hockey, you're going to get stuff, you're sticking, <laughs> and you're going to get, like, blood. Every- he got that from his own self. <laughs> he can't fit through the door. And look at the person right next to him. They're just looking at him, and he just like, gets up. Wow. Yeah. I like how they didn't even reach down to help him. No, well, that's because they're like, "What the hell just happened?" The guy. She's like, "You did this to yourself." Exactly. (laughs) My favorite part is at the very end. You can see he's getting ready to just he gets ready to run in the tunnel. He's like, "I'm just running in the tunnel because I'm an idiot." That was one. I've played hockey my entire life. I've never seen somebody do that. So that was uh, that was good. Thanks to uh, Charlie who sent me that one. Uh, by the way, if you see a funny video or sign online, give it to us. We'll uh, we'll put yours on here in our viral video uh, part of our show here. Oh yeah, this is uh, so this is uh, the, where this guy's hand is. That's a table back there, and it looks like a table built out of like cardboard. It looks like it has three legs. It does. Yeah. It does. It's gonna be very. This guy's gonna run off, and he's gonna jump on and break it. The problem is, this guy's not very athletic. Oh. My oh. <laughs> He ends up breaking it. <laughs> but he I might be dead. I mean, it only had three legs anyway. I know. So. The, <laughs> there wasn't much to break. I love how everyone. Oh my gosh, she's not even getting up. Is you it notice okay? oh the only gosh. people that came is over are girls. Yes. The only people that came over are girls. All the guys like, yep, knew it was going to happen. <laughs> so watch this again. He doesn't even get close. He's like two feet short. And whoop He's like, I'm going to get this table. He no. does like a face dive. Oh, yeah. On the ground. On the ground. Yeah. And then watch this. The only people to come to his rescue. There's one guy that's got a beer still. He's good. Yeah, Poncho and the beer is the only one who cares. <laughs> <laughs> the three girls come up to him. But everyone still took a really long time. Look how long they waited yeah. to go. Because everybody's he comes, looking like, like um, oh, no, he's not getting up. <laughs> yeah, he's not even moving. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Don't touch him. Yeah, there we go. No, like, I thought look. I drank a lot. <laughs> there you go. Listen, if you're at school, don't be dumb. Look, the thing broke anyway. So it doesn't even, it's not like anything good was going to happen. Oh, my God. Yeah, so he won. He won. He's the winner. Although, uh, oh, this is good. This is, I put this in here for Halloween time. This is one of my favorites. Uh, so this is uh, one of those things at the store. Uh, boy, I wish we had. Oh, you know what? Do we have? Do we have uh, audio? Is that Hold on. Mm, see me... if we can put that audio thing over there. See if we can watch this. Oh, look at his little legs. Oh, 
here. He's watch so him. Cute. He takes about a second and then he flips out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, whoever baby. that mom or dad is that's filming that, you are the true hero. Because <laughs> yeah. you know your kid is getting ready to get scared and probably poop himself. Uh, this is one of my biggest fears, actually, right here. This is uh, an escalator that stopped working. Watch this. This happened, uh, I don't know, I think this was at an airport. Um, so these guys are on the escalator. They just got off their flight. This thing starts to speed up. Look at this. <gasps> oh, oh, my, my goodness. God. Yeah. The, just to look, people are trying to jump off. Right. Ooh. Oh, this, this is g- like the Titanic. Oh, <laughs> 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 because they're going down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I mean, look how fast. And then people are just. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gosh. And, oh, my yeah. gosh. That would be so scary. That's yeah. every kid's dream, though. Right? It really is. <laughs> it does look fun. It looks fun, though, kind of. Yeah. And it, especially if you're in the back. Yeah. If you were in the front. And then you'll get. Smash. Yeah, this guy's trying to. <laughs> Thirty <laughs> people. Yeah, and then they have those little things so you can't slide down. So oh. that dude was probably gonna, you know, he probably get yeah. bruised his butt bone. Yeah. Because you can see when he he's trying to slide down the middle. That actually, the guy that actually slid down the middle had the worst ride of all. Watch this, because yeah. he's going over those speed bumps. Watch this next guy come at the end. He's just coming. He stops himself there, but watch, and he keep, this guy. Yeah, oh. keep going. <laughs> oh yeah, not good. It's like, you, you didn't make it down. Oh. But they were going that fast. Did you notice he broke the first one? Yeah. yeah. yeah he, That's it, how yeah. fast they were going. Yeah, That's he crazy. broke that with his butt bone. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, all right, here's guys doing dumb stuff. Uh, this uh, is uh, this is entitled Why Guys Live Less Long, or Why Girls Live Longer Than Guys. Uh, so anytime that it's thing starts with some guy on a roof, you know it's not going to be great, but he's going to try to do a cannonball uh, onto the pool. Let's see what happens. He looks like he's uh, had a few beers. And it looks like he. Uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 That one's gonna hurt. Oh my God! That was Look, especially bad. His feet hit the gutter, and then the gutter oh, says, "I'm out. Oh. I'm out. <laughs> I'm about to head out." <laughs> Dude, yeah, he missed it. He should. Oh yeah. My yeah. God. yeah. Pretty oh. sure he. <laughs> pretty sure he ate the. Cup. I feel like. Oh. oh. Please. I like not to just go with. Have any more tea. He's not going to have tea. I, I like he to probably just, has a broken nose I'm and not, a yeah. couple broken bones. Oh. In the his good face. thing is he didn't Ooh. die. He didn't die. How do you know that? Because well, it makes me like, feel better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to say that. <laughs> so you yeah. don't know for sure. Nah, I'm sure he's fine. Look, this other guy's on the phone. This is my favorite. Look, the guy's oh. on the oh. the guy in the oh. foreground is actually on his phone. Like, oh, Mike's up on the. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. It's like, oh, Mike's up on the roof again. He's got the homemade oh, ladder out. This guy's like, ah. Listen, if you oh find yourself gosh. drunk on a roof, jumping into a pool, just stop yourself. Nothing. <laughs> I've never seen that work out. Has anybody ever seen a video work out like that? No. All right, we got a few not more here. Um, this, I'm not really sure. Let's just uh, roll this thing. I'm not really sure on this one. Oh, yeah, this is. Uh, Ooh. Oh. Yeah, check <gasps> that out. My. That was crazy. That's another fear of mine. That's so, rocks. Crazy. Mountains. Yeah, dude, watch this oh rock. Gosh, that was a rock. Avalanche. I thought it was like another car. No, rewind that. Watch how fast this rock comes. This yep. guy's just minding his own business. Right. <gasps> uh-huh. Look, it broke that tree in uh-huh. half, and then there's another one that comes flying down. Oh, my um, goodness. Yeah. Roll that again. This guy is literally just driving. Yeah, hey, nice country road. Yeah. Oh, my God. How do you explain that to insurance? Yeah. <laughs> so this boulder. All right. right <laughs> a boulder came out of nowhere. Sure. Well, what sure. It's our insurance company that's like, we handled that, like with the squirrel. And oh, stuff. yeah. <laughs> we've yeah. we've seen a lot a because we've done a lot or whatever. Yeah. We've, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh you won't believe God. this. Yeah. God. That one's crazy, man. So that's another fear of mine. Everything is, I'm from Maryland, so it's, it's pretty, mm-hmm. there's like a lot of mountains and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I always think, man, what if rocks just came down? They would just annihilate you. It just, it just literally, and it, luckily it hit the uh, the hood and not the roof. Mm-hmm. Or that person definitely wouldn't have been here. Oh, here's another wedding. Oh, this line. is fun. This is uh, this is a guy that really wants to get his uh, he wants to get his his freak on. So they're coming out, uh, and they're, they always do these dumb dances. You know, when this guy starts taking his jacket off, stuff's getting ready to happen. Uh, so this girl's minding her own business. She's gonna go and do the what's that? The stanky leg. No. And then he's like, no. oh, <laughs> watch this. They try to pick her up. You're okay. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're okay. That's my favorite. All those guys, get up. You're fine. And she fought. Watch this. She fought. 
<laughs> she falls right back down. Yeah. Shake it off. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Pretty sure she hit whatever that decorative thing on the side is. She hit her face on it. <laughs> Watch, he does. Oh! Boom! Oh, man, let me pick you up. Let me catch you. I got yeah. you, honey. Uh, she's fine. Oh, no. yeah. That is not good. Oh, he is kind of. Yeah. Shoot. Why are you doing uh, flips, Mike? They're getting a divorce. Every time at the wedding, you got to do flips. <laughs> My favorite is the three guys. He's lying about his money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just. He's I love this. Over. They pick her up. You're good. You're fine. Stand up. No? Okay. You're not. It's not happening. Uh, oh, my God. That's good. Is that the last one? We got one more? I think we have one more. We have one more? Is that, I think that's a cat. Oh, no. This is, uh, this is a good one. Yeah. Wow. Well, this is my favorite. All right. <laughs> this is the best. Now, this is my life in a nutshell. So, I have to explain because this is a grainy ass. This is uh, one of those uh, security cameras. What's going to happen in, in a minute, you're going to see on the right-hand side, this is a tunnel, right? And on the right-hand side is a bike lane. And a guy's going to be minding his own damn business, riding his bike, and this tire is going to come out of nowhere and hit him. This happens all the time. So, But that's not the worst part of this video. This describes my entire life. Roll it one time. So here's a guy minding his own business, right? And then, boom, this tire hits him. See that tire? Now, that tire, he gets his bike. He's looking around. He's like, is what is that tire? coming back. So that oh, tire no. is down the tunnel. Here comes all this traffic. <gasps> he's got to get back. Now, what you don't see is at the end, there's a there's a block at the end. The tire hit that. It's coming back for him. Watch oh. this. So this guy's already knocked off his <gasps> bike. There it comes. What? Oh, Boom! It That's hits him again. Crazy. Oh that is how you know God hates you right there. Right? Something happened. <laughs> How does that, what are the odds of getting hit by a thing and it goes a half a mile away and hits a wall and comes back and hits you again? Oh, no. The simple fact that the tire weaves through traffic to hit him. Yeah. 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 It, like steers, it like steers over there. God, it's it's like, I'm getting you. I'm yeah. getting you. <laughs> Look, I mean, there's trucks. There's cars. They start weaving. They're like, what's this? Oh, my God. And none of them hit it except for oh. him. Boom. Oh, like the tire it's... was doing a boomerang picture. <laughs> that is incredible. Oh, oh my wow. God. What are the oh, odds? My. Poor guy. Wow. Ah, there you go. That's a really bad day. That is a bad day. <laughs> That's a terrible day. That is a bad day. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Kyle says, possess tire much? LOL. Uh, she also says, "Man, I hope his wedding. He'd had a, he'd, he'd have to go home uh, after that." Um, and how did the table land? Yeah, so those are uh, those are. Thanks for uh, checking in. Uh, we appreciate that. Yeah, so there you go. That's our viral video section here uh, today on our show. Man, can you imagine that? I mean, that tire that suck. of all the odds. That would suck. Of, even if it if there was no traffic whatsoever God and it hit a wall, come, that would you. still be crazy. God <laughs> hates you. There's no possible it comes way. Back and- Bam. Oh, my gosh. All right. So let's hit the closing music. Listen, um, you we're really excited you came here. Did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. This was awesome. such a great experience. Yeah. Yay. Well, good. Well, uh, hopefully uh, if you get people go to your Instagram, follow you, because I'm sure uh, we're going to keep in touch. And uh, maybe hit us up tomorrow and uh, send us a little picture of you guys in your uh, in your watch party. Oh, yeah. Well, before I we go, should we do this and that? Yeah, we should. Oh, oh yeah. my yeah. gosh. Oh, uh, see, I forgot. Uh, Danae is going to ask you. So this is a super thing we, we do all, all with all of our guests. Okay. Uh, she's going to ask you this or that. You just got to choose which one you think is the, which one you like better. Okay. okay. Day or night? <sighs> That's hard. Uh, night. Night. You're night. a night person? Yeah. yeah. I like to go out at night. Yeah. yeah. Fun, okay. So. okay. I mean, you, yeah, you danced here. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Money or love? Mm-hmm. Oh uh, wow! Why those two? <laughs> Why those two? Um, love. Yeah, love. gotta go with love. Sure about that? Just yeah. not that one. I mean, guy. money's not. Yeah, yeah. 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 right. Not bank account. He might money. be single now. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> All right, good one. Road trip or fly? Oh. That's hard too. Yeah, this is a road good. trip though. Yeah. Road, road trip, yeah, yeah. Something about so a road fun. trip, yeah. Yeah, I like seeing the different, mm-hmm, the scenery and yeah, everything the else. Scenery, yeah. The, the bonding time, Plus you have time, time in the yeah, car. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Beach or mountains? Mm. I would have to say mountains. Okay. Just because, like, I want to go hiking, like in Colorado. Okay. Yeah. I've already done mm-hmm. the beach thing now. Okay, so now so you, now, now you want to do the mountains. mountains. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Uh, summer or winter? 
ew, I hate the winter. Yeah. Summer. Okay. Okay. Amen. I'm more of a fall person, honestly. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Same. Is that it? Yeah. Nice. That's it. Very good. Right. Well, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate you, and uh, and it's uh, good to have you here. So Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. All right. Hey, make sure you hit share, like, and comment, and let us know what you say. Even though if we get out of here, we still want to see what, uh, what you guys think and what you are. We're going to be back here next week. Special thanks to our special guest, uh, Mia Metcalf, who is uh, on Temptation Island. Make sure you check it out tomorrow uh, live at 9 p.m. We're all going to be watching. Thanks to Danae for hanging out with us here today. Thank you. Super thank producer you. Amy. Thank you very much, Amy. You're a very good job today. And thanks to everybody who uh, joined us again. We really appreciate you. Thanks to uh, Donato and everybody here at Lucid Light Lounge, the number one place in Milwaukee, in our million-dollar studios. Till next week. Bye-bye. Bye. We're out of here. Bye.